Hey people, what's going on? It's Jamil. And I got an interesting theme that I'm moving towards. Now, it's, it's pretty exciting, right? Okay, so what it, what it is as simple as this. I mean, I'm going through gang stalking. I mean, it's a scenario that's going on in my life. Now, it really has very zero, it really has very little effect on me. But where I'm at in my life is the woman, right? Fucking love my life, man. And we we both we both been moving <laughs> we both been moving towards this for a long time. She wants to be with me and I want to be with her. But because of the family dynamic, the gang stalking, it's become a complex thing. But this is something this is something that's like a theme. It's much it's much bigger than just gang stalking or much bigger than just like my my communication to her in the last couple of weeks I I wasn't even saying anything. I just came on YouTube and just started talking to her. I see that took a big effect. But uh, in the last four years, in the last four years, me and her have just been going like, kind of like back and forth ever since she introduced herself to me. We talked a few times, but nothing manifested. And the interesting thing is, is the same theme that was happening then is the same thing that's happening now. She introduced herself to me. And then I remember the next day, she was she went to go get her hair did. She said, I'm going to get my hair done. And I said, oh, yeah, that's cool. You know, sh you should show me. And then, and then when she came back, I was already in the house. And then the next day, I remember she had come, she came home. But she had come home with, with a, a guy. Now, she was far younger than me at the time, right? And so I'm like, okay, well, you know, she, she's younger. She, she's talking to a lot of different guys and stuff like that. So I said, you know, she... You know, I said, I left it at that. And then I didn't really talk, you know, we, we talked a few times after that. But I saw that every time I saw her after that, she would always have this guy around her. But then I realized she wasn't really interested in the guy. She was interested in me, but for some reason the guy was just there. And then I remember before that, the first time I had seen her, first time I remember seeing her, I was walking around the circle and then she was with this was before this happened. She was with a different guy, but she, she was younger than me. So I'm just watching her. She keeps looking back at me. Now, this is the same thing that's happening now with the gang stalking program. It's the same thing. It's just back then there was no gang stalking, and now there is gang stalking. And so ever since that point four years ago, me and her have been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth through this theme of her wanting my attention, her wanting to be with me. Now, greatly, I mean, me wanting to be with her, but it never really, you know. But now, greatly, us greatly both wanting to be with each other. And there's always been, like, little tests. Like, I remember... I remember I have seen her a couple times out driving around. And I noticed it was her, but I just felt like, you know, nothing's going to come out of it. So why? You know, and, and so it's been, like little things where we noticed each other and it's like all this stuff has been accumulating up until this summer and so that's four years and then four months ago is April April May June July August so we went from April to August right so you have the four year you have four years of this then you have four months and What's going on now is it's the gang stalking program dynamic of me having to go through all this stuff and then her family and the gang stalking stuff like that. But the theme is much larger, right? And so now that I've come out and I started I started appreciating her and, 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 and speaking, I come out on YouTube and I said I loved all this stuff. It, it greatly touched her. It greatly affected her in the gang stalking program has had trem tremendous challenges in trying to get her to, to, to try to use her against me. But our theme is much bigger than the gang stalking program. It has very little to do with the gang stalking program. This is something much larger where me and her are deciding there's no open communication. But both of us are subconsciously deciding do we want to be with each other for the rest of our lives? Do we do do we want to come together as a couple and make this work? And it's a theme. It's, it's a long-term theme. The gang stalking is just an aspect of it, 
right? Okay. So now on her end, she's battling through the pressure that she's having from the, pro the game stocking program that's running through her family. And she would like to come to me, but I think the biggest thing stopping her from coming to me, I don't think is actually the gang stalking, and I don't think is actually the family. I think it's her doubt of what would come out of it. I think, I think she has doubt of what will manifest out of it. Her fear, I think it's her fear that's keeping her from doing that. Because the gang stalking program, what's the gang stalking program going to tell her? What, 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 I mean, what can they, what can her family tell her? You're wrong for following your heart. You're, you made a mistake. You're, you're doing the wrong thing by by going and speaking by going and speaking to the person that you want to speak with. And they keep they keep pairing her up with people throughout the gang stalking program. And out of all the people. She would rather be with me the most as out of all the women that I come across, I would rather be with her the most. And so we're both torn between us. We both want to be with each other the most. But the circumstance, and it's a theme, like I said, it's a theme. It's much bigger than the gang stalking program. And it's much bigger than the dynamic of her family wanting this for or wanting that for. It's me and her co-creating a scenario. Me and her both co-created this somehow. From the first moment that I took notice to her and she introduced herself to me and we kept going through all this stuff and there's always been, I mean, there's always been something there where she, you know, there's always been something between us, but then since the winter time, it just, it just took shape and just like, boom, it just took shape and ran. And now we're both, now we're both kind of co-creating the situation. Now I see my perspective, I see us both be I see us both being together. I think something's gonna happen. I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but something's gonna happen. We're both gonna end up with each other because we both we both greatly want that. But it's the doubt. See, for me, for me, it was the doubt. I had doubt, right? I had it, our our scenario our, our scenario has changed. In the past, it was my doubt that kept me from approaching her and being with her as she wanted. Because she came to me first. So it was my doubt and, and my fear that kept me from her. Now we switched roles, and now it's her doubt. You see my point? It was, it was, it's, almost like, it's, it's almost like we couldn't do this because you had fear and you had doubt. So now let's switch the theme to me having fear and doubt to see if, if I can... So it's pretty, it's pretty fascinating, and I'm big into metaphysics and spirituality, and so I see how themes like this work, you know, not just in my life, but I've seen how it works uh, throughout other people's lives. And so the thing that's happening now is I saw that she was unhappy with the current situation and that she wanted to make some work, so I, so I expanded on it. Now we're moving towards open communication. But the only difference is, is before the open communication was on me once upon a time, now it's going to be on her. See my point? Now it's going to be on her because we, okay, we went from just looking at each other and seeing that we both want to be with each other. Now, half the time she'll do what the gang stalking program wants her to do. The other half the time she won't do it. I've seen that my love's touched her and she's felt it. And, you know, she looks far different. But now it's a thing where we have to come into manifestation of open communication. And I don't know how that's going to unfold. It's, it's technically in her hands. She would have to stop the car and get out or roll on the window or come knock on my door or email me or phone call me. She would have to come to me. I can't come to her in this scenario. So... I have no doubt, I have no doubt in my ability to, to, see, I, it was on me a couple weeks ago, because I didn't have anything to go on, right? I mean, she didn't have anything to go on. And so as I came further out, then she, then she changed her, that changed her. And so now, now she has to come from a place where she's gonna have to she's gonna have to decide 
what she wants. If it's going to manifest, does she want this to manifest or not? And then, like I said, you know, my, my love for her is real. So it, it will be there for her no matter what. But we're coming, but this being August, see, it's a four year mark. And then this is the fourth month. See, my, I'm, <laughs> like, I'm not into voodoo or anything. I'm not trying to make it seem like that. But I'm saying it's coming, it's coming to a manifestation point real close here. You know, the summertime. And so it's coming to a manifestation. What's going to happen? Because neither one of us are going to be able to, you know, like, I mean, the, you know, the gang stalking is cool and stuff, but, you know, she's not going to be able to ride around and smile at me in cars forever. And I'm not going to be able to sit here and talk to her, uh, make YouTube videos for her forever. And her father and her people aren't going to be walking around wearing all these different colored, you know, blue t-shirts for her eyes and all this stuff forever. And so it's, it's coming to a point where it's going to be a situation where how badly do we want this? How badly do we want to, how badly do we want open communication and to manifest something out of that to, to come together and, and, and have a um, co-create how, how much do we want that now I've gone out of my way to show that I want it greatly and, and she showed me from the beginning that she wanted it greatly and so now I mean I guess it's on both of us in a way because I, it depends on what I'm doing day to day to day to day to make it more comfortable for her but I made a video saying like hey you know come you know don't go where your heart leads you to go don't don't, uh, yeah, if you're watching this, I'm talking about, I'm talking about you. <laughs> but uh, go where your heart leads you. Go. You know, I did all that. And, again, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, it didn't seem as if anything, it's just like, yeah, whatever. We were both like, you know, whatever. But then I saw that she wanted something. And so now I headed towards that. And so now it's going to, something's going to have to happen. And I don't know how it's going to happen, but I have a feeling that something's going to happen. You know what I mean? Because the energy, the energy is too, getting too intense. What's happening is the energy is heating up. And as the energy heats up, something's going to, something has to come out of the energy. Like it's, it's been greatly affecting her. I know our family can see it, you know, the change on her. And, you know, the energy, you know, we, we both, so, so I don't know. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting to see what happens.